Okay, this is my 2022 Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive. This is just a little autopilot uh, demonstration in the city. So I haven't got it on right now. You can see the traffic. It is available to be on because the little steering wheel is there. All I do to put it on is double click and it is on. So now it is steering for me and it is accelerating at the speed of 66 kilometers an hour. Uh, the max says is 60, but you can always go 10 above the max. So it says autopilot has reached the max level. So we can go 10 above there. Uh, you can see it correcting itself there. You uh, have a couple of choices here. You can, you know, watch it go. Uh, you can keep a steady amount of pressure. So just like almost tugging it a little bit and it'll go through. See, it's going to detect the lights here. If they had a change though, it wouldn't have stopped. But it does show all the lighting features and everything like that. Somebody else pointed out that it is still there, but it isn't full self-drive, so it won't stop. It'll just adjust to the car in front of me. So like I said, you can hold the car a little bit like this, and then it, it won't give you any indication to do to touch the steering wheel, or if you let it go, every now and again, it's gonna prompt you to touch the steering wheel, uh, which I'll show you, there's a couple options for that. So uh, the autopilot in the city works really good. I love it. I mean, uh, it doesn't stop for you, but like roads like this where you've got clear way ahead, you know where you're going. It does a really good job. You can see it keeping an eye on the, the lines here. It will now, this thing here too is your chevrons. So in the city, I like to set it about six, just so you don't get a hard stop. If you find your car is hard stopping, just adjust the chevrons on there. Uh, that's what I call them anyway. But that'll make sure that like this stop when this guy's in front of me is going to be pretty gradual. That guy's going to move aside, but even to the truck here. See, I thought he was there, but now it's going to adjust to this guy. It's a very gentle stop into this. I can leave it on autopilot now because uh, this is going to go when he goes. Another thing about autopilot uh, that I'll just show quickly. I'm out of autopilot. You can activate autopilot from a stop. There we go, autopilot's activated and it's set to 15 kilometers automatically on a stop, so I'll just up it again to 70. So when this guy pulls forward, I will pull forward. The pull forward here, I find, is probably a little bit slow, but all in all, it's fine. If you want a little bit more, just hit the gas a little bit and it'll, it'll, uh, it'll add a little bit of acceleration so you can speed up and catch up. So say you're on the highway, Somebody's always trying to sneak in in front of you if you add a little acceleration. So right there, okay, so apply some force to the st steering wheel. If you do not apply a gentle force, it will kick you out of all autopilot. And it usually doesn't let you in autopilot for that drip. If you trip, if you want it to be reactivated, just pull over, stop the car, and it'll reactivate. Sometimes it's gotten mad at me because I haven't paid attention or I've used the accelerator too much and it doesn't like that either and it'll just throw you out. It'll take away the steering wheel, force you to reset reset it all. Like I said, again, autopilot's awesome in the city, but you do have to look out for stop signs that won't stop and stuff like that. Okay, so there's a few ways you can deactivate autopilot. One is you can hit the brake, that deactivates. That it takes away everything. Number two, you can change lanes. If you change lanes though, it only deactivates autopilot. You are still in cruise control. So you'd still be in cruise control, but autopilot would be disabled. So that's another thing you can do. The other way to deactivate it, and I won't do it right now, is just double click up and it'll go there. I'll just show you like how awesome that is on turns. It does an amazing job on turns. Next, uh, I did just a little short the other day, this screen, which I love. I love watching this car go around a corner uh, on its own. It's, it's mind blowing, it's awesome. If you have directions in here with autopilot, it is not gonna follow the directions. Uh, you have to do the turning, but full self-drive has that option that you can do that. This is just, you know, it takes your mind off, makes your life a little easier. This is a pretty steep incline I'm gonna come up to here, so I'm gonna take a little of the speed off. This is a, an amazing way, and probably how I like to show people how cool this is, is going down this hill like this. Guy up, kinda not liking how slow I'm going, but that's fine. But like, look at this corner, this corner, or take this corner, it's amazing, and like I said, I'm not steering. Uh, I didn't surprise. I didn't get scared of that truck. Sometimes it will, but it's taking this corner better than that guy up there who's using his is uh, is driving it himself. 
So I am going to keep going straight here, so that's fine. It's gonna break, it's gonna have a little heavy break there because that guy was kind of in the middle, it's fine. So that's cool. I, I love watching it take corners. It's really awesome when it does that. I've got it set to five distance here, so I like that. I just find it really good. So if you, you know, you're know you driving and you just want to, one more thing watching for you, if you have your hands on the steering wheel and you have autopilot on, it's now you watching and now the Tesla system is also watching your car. So it's just smart to have it on, I think. Uh, maybe when you're downtown, it's not so easy because you know you're making too many turns or whatever. And I'm gonna have to hit the brake because that light's gonna turn. So I'm gonna hit the brake here. And then it disengages it. And it won't here uh, let you engage. Remember how I said you could engage it at stopped? You can't at a stop line. It knows we're at a stop sign. Like, look at all this. All the construction's going on here. It's got all the pylons. It, it It's just awesome. I know that there's, you know, issues of whether or not we're gonna do radar or, or the, the camera-based system. I think the camera-based system is really good. It had its flaws in the beginning, but with updates, it's really improved. You know, now it's, it knows it's in park here, so it's 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 setting up. But we're off and running here, so this is just me. So if you just want not autopilot, but cruise, just one click down, and now it's speeding, but I am steering. So it's picking the speed at 64, and I am steering, so it'll stop for something, and it'll go and follow the guy in front, but I've picked steering. Uh, again, I'm going to make a left turn here and then I'll put it back into autopilot show you another windy road that I like to take, which is right here. So I'll just put it in there and we're going to make this turn, so no problem. That's another thing I love. Look how clear the picture is on that. It is awesome. The, the, I'll just put it on anyway. How well and how well it sees at night is, is truly amazing. It's, it's a really good feature and I love the update. Again, updates, when, when it moved it from here up to there or wherever you want to move it, you can move it now. This is the best position for it. It, it really is easy to see. So we're gonna head up here and take another turn and I'll show you that. And then obviously this system is amazing on the highway. I like using it in town, but obviously on the highway, it's really good, especially for me, you know, if you're going from London, say to Kitchener, traffic is brutal this thing just takes care of it and like I said you want you don't want some guy cutting in in front of you just hit the gas a little bit but stop and go traffic it, it's it's awesome but driving on the highway it's awesome keep your hand on the wheel one last thing to think about you get a little distracted for a second because your kids say something in the backyard somebody else or the car is is now watching as well too so it's just smart it's a great system the map system is good you can also see in the map system here where it's showing like either uh, traffic or sometimes construction. Uh, when you put directions in here, so I'm gonna activate it here, because I like the corners. Um, you know, it, it does just bring up the speed here a little. Uh, it's amazing, like just look at this corner, like that is phenomenal. It just takes it perfectly, I love it. Uh, I think I've showed this area before in the other Tesla guy. Uh, it does a really good job. I wonder if he was using his autopilot on this hill, but I like it, so I use it because, and like I said, this is a really cool thing to show somebody else. It's asked me to apply some pressure. I did that, but that is just amazing. It's really, really cool. Um, it's a great part of the whole system. So this is just a quick uh, review on it. Autopilot, I love it. it. It is really good. It's a great system. Any questions, put something be below. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I've got like 409 subscribers now. I kind of been offline for a little while because I'm doing home renos and my whole family was sick, like it seems the rest of the world. But uh, I'm going to try to get into doing some stuff again. But uh, life gets busy sometimes. So again, have a great day. And please like, subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon.